Yo, what up? It's your boy Polo Cuts is D. Welcome back to another episode of Off the Clipper, baby. You already know you can find us on YouTube or listen to us on any podcast streaming platform, baby. I'm right here with the gang, the one and only. Yeah, Manny Rock. Yes, you sir. Know. In the building. <laughs> and I got my boy, the one and only. Mm-hmm. That barber cheapy, that baby. Barber cheapy, baby. That barber cheapy, baby. That's right. Let's get it. We are back again. I missed you guys, bro. I missed this. Yeah, I actually I enjoy this. Podcasting? What happened? You're cramping? Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Damn. Did you see that shit? Okay, Manny. Manny, you fucking. You got to drink that water, fool. From so right. many gang signs. <laughs> More fucking. Yeah. Hey, fucking. Let's start off by. You cramping? No, I'm let's cramping. Start, let's, let's start off by fucking um, saying that the Padres beat the Dodgers, baby. Hey, let's go. Damn. Big we, shout out to the Padres. Big shout out Came to the Padres. I, th- I think I think they won because of our fans, dog. To be honest with you, our fans pushed pushed them through those last two games that we won, man. And I never seen. If it seen wasn't Pepe for the Park. fans, dog, I don't know if we would have had that game, dog. Yeah, I know. The for fans sure. fucking hella the hyped energy, it up, bro. High energy Super. in that park. You could feel it through the TV. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know? I was I was hearing that they said that usually it's like seventy percent Dodgers. Dodgers. Yeah, but you know yeah. what they did, right? Yeah. So they stop. I mean, but I don't know. Cool, I don't know how cool. accurate this is, but they were. I've heard that they were only selling to local San Diego, lo, San Diego, San Diego yeah, locals. They were asking, "Hey, what's your zip code?" Really? And, yeah. And if they said it was like a LA zip code or whatever, then they would freaking not sell them the tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, but they did it to us. They did. Supposedly, I heard they did it to us first. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They shoot. did it to us first. That's why we did it back to them. Oh, okay. I didn't know that it was like that. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, though. Like, I mean, it's cool, you know, because we usually, there's a lot of Dodger fans here in San Diego, but. There's a lot. I mean, it was it was also pretty cool that, like, Padre, Padre fans, like, or even, like, new Padre fans, but they all, like, actually, like, said, you know what? Let's go support the team, and it was actually pretty filled up. I, it was you rarely saw any Dodger fans. Yeah, in the, it was in all the brown and yellow in there. Brown I and didn't yellow, see that's no, just I, crazy. I seen like a blink of blue, like here and there, but yeah, it was mostly freaking. And then Padre those colors. those fans at the end of the day were putting on you know white and brown. Yeah, afterwards. Know? Yeah, I seen that's that. crazy. Do you think they did that more for like show? Like, I'm pretty sure one of the kid, like there was this one kid that's at the end of the at the end of the game, he starts putting on the 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 Padre yeah. jersey over his Dodger jersey. But I feel like that's also like a little like so like a, like a little cloud strategy yeah. like also Either like that oh, or he lost a bet that too yeah he's doing it for hype yeah i'm pretty sure he would he thought they thought like oh if i do this someone's gonna take pictures of me and it's gonna blow up which is pretty fucking funny dude yeah that one girl there's a picture of that one girl that like in the first few innings she's wearing the dodger fucking hat with the dodger yeah and then she, that one. And then she changes know, she her hat padre shit on oh yeah. that's just funny it's pretty cool um yeah, it was a freaking exciting have, week, like, though. I wonder if they have, like, pictures of, like, the Padre fans doing that. I don't know. You know? I won't, yeah, actually, that's a good question. Uh, nah, I don't think so, because then it would have been pretty viral, I think. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. crazy, dog. The only viral one is your boy. Who? Brody. Brody? Yeah. The one Which that one? has the, the L.A. hat, with the L.A. shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diego tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. Him, him and then uh, also we have another client or homie. The one that would do the the beers, he would like do the Stone Cold Steve Austin shit. Yeah, that shit, that's crazy, bro. Um, but yeah, fucking last week was a crazy week, huh? Like all, all the games. I think what was it Wednesday, the first game. Yeah, yeah, that was an exciting week. I didn't think, I honestly, not not that I didn't think the Padres were gonna beat them that fast, but I thought it was gonna be like a longer series, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it was only a five game series though, too, but. So, but what if, what if it was, oh. Yeah, no. yeah. So, say, say if the Dodgers so would have won two, one two? of those in San Diego, oh, yeah. we would have went back to L.A. Yeah, and we yeah, probably yeah. would have got knocked out, dog. Yeah. Yeah, because if we would have been back to L.A., bro, fuck, it would have been tough to win out there, guy. Yeah. yeah. Today, though, the Padres played uh, Philly. And, um, eh, I mean, it's the it, first it's game. Seven, it's a seven-game series, though, too, luckily. So, this for this one? one, what? How many do they have to win? Uh, four. five, four, four. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Padres already down one. As long as we get tomorrow's game and get one in Philly, I think we'll be good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll be. How do you, how do you guys feel then, about being then, from San Diego and repping like another team? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. I mean, 
I, I, I get it at some point. Yeah, like, like if you if you're a, if you're a, if you're a fan of the sport and you are actually like looking like if you watch sports games for like t- if you watch it because you enjoy the skill level of you know like fucking yeah, you, the, you love the you just the love game. the game overall yeah, yeah. then yeah. I I I'm, I'm I feel okay with people fucking like you know I don't want to say hopping around like in teams but I mean let's say you go for the Chargers for three years and then. You just don't like how they play no They're more. All like about it, like hopping. charger everything. Yeah, but you just don't like how they play, and then you fucking end up saying like, "Hey, you know what? I like the Eagles now." And then fuck it, you know, like if you like them because they play better and that team makes you fucking happy. Like, even if they don't win championships, but you just like how they play, I understand that, you know. But I yeah. just when people just hop from one team to another because they win the championship, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of like ah, eh, nah, like. But yeah. like, like in football, I've always liked Green Bay and the Steelers, you know? Yeah. That's cool. Like, I, I, I mean, always, I always like Green Bay liked too. Them. Yeah. I always like the Lakers. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Lakers fan, but that yeah. was because of Nick Kobe. Van Axel, Eddie Jones, and Kobe. Yeah. Even so, before Kobe was there, I was still a Laker fan. I think, yeah. that, I think when, when I you have like that much, them. like, you know, like Chibi said, if you grew up watching them and you know the player, like individual and like. You know, right. not can, so much. I can just name you that whole ninety four, ninety five <laughs> squad. Like, hell yeah, that's how back I go. For, for I, I think you get a pass if you know that much about the team. Yeah, and yeah. you're like know about the players and you know. Yeah, the but, history about but if it. you're a fan and you only know the one or two players, it's like, yeah, uh, right, right, right. all right. Yeah, yeah. if you're a fan, you just because you're winning, keep it yeah. moving. Yeah, for Kinda. for for me, I I just go for the Lakers because they're the nearest team to us here. That's one yeah, for me. Well, yeah, and San then, Diego, we got a pass we and, for basketball because we don't even have a team. Yeah, exactly. And then LA's fucking football, I'm a Charger team. fan just because they were from here, you know, and I didn't fucking – I mean, I know some people take it very fucking super, like, to the heart that they left us. But to me, it's like, eh, I mean, they left us, yeah. yeah that, but at the same time, like – They could have the agreements, like – Yeah, like they were – stadium. Yeah, like, exactly. They were, they were asking for, for – uh, a new stadium and they didn't want to give it to them and shit. I mean, if you can go to another, another city. Yeah. But, I, don't, I don't know why they chose LA though. They should have went to Vegas. They should have tried to go to Vegas. Oh yeah, for sure. Vegas they, never had a team. They would have been loved out there, bro. Just like they love the Raiders out there now. Shit. Yeah. Chargers that would have been dope. Been hella loved out there. I, I think San Diego people would have liked, would have stuck with Las Vegas chargers. More you know? than LA. Huh? More oh than yeah, LA. for sure. And like, I there's still, always that rivalry. between Yeah. Yeah. SD yeah and for LA. sure. And, and I, I don't know even know where it comes from. Like we just hate each other so much, you know. It's just like I think it's because we're so close to each other, is. you yeah. know, and that like or the big city, similar cities, kind of in a way. Yeah, yeah. But we probably charge them too much for taking shit up there when we have to, <laughs> for know? real, huh? Fuck <laughs> like, uh, these fools. It'd be taxing for real. <laughs> but I still think that um, fuck. Oh, like I, I still, I still feel like the Chargers still don't belong in LA. You know, like that stadium like, is not theirs. It's the Rams. I feel like you there's know? still misfits over there. Yeah, like it's that's the Rams. That that stadium is not theirs, bro. Yeah, they're like I feel like they're just there renting, like or like, you know, like it's not their home. You get yeah. me? Pro, it's like their probation period or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like they'll get out. Of, they'll get out of LA eventually, dog. You think yeah. they'll come back? Uh, either they'll come back here, uh, which I wouldn't mind them coming back here either. Yeah, I um. Know. But I, I, I don't know where else they would go though, dog. What other big they, city they doesn't have Vegas. a team? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I know Oakland's trying to get rid of the or the A's are trying to get out of Oakland. The oh, Oakland imagine A's. they come out here. They're, I heard they're trying to go to Vegas too. Oh, really? Because Vegas doesn't have a baseball team either. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. with basketball, I hear with basketball they're trying to create a team. Where? In Vegas. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think Vegas is a, a city that's Vegas big is a enough. Great sports area. Yeah. Like they, like, they would have a great fan base out there. I mean, they, they got boxing. Knights. Look how boxing is. and then Oh, yeah. They then got their Las Vegas Knights out there. Knights, and now yep. they got their Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders. And yeah. Adding more sports teams out there. I think it's great for, for their city. Yeah. yeah great wish. for gambling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wish we would have more sports teams here, like a basketball team or. Yeah, same here. I got uh, really excited when I saw the San Diego Suns might be a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like like a, okay, like a month okay. ago when yeah, the yeah, owner yeah. was talking about selling the team. Oh yeah. really? That would have been cool. I don't know where they would play at because fucking <laughs> sports arena is fucking hella shot out. That that thing's hella outdated. The Suns is what a. Uh, that's a uh, the Phoenix Suns baseball team or uh, basketball team. Oh, ba- oh yeah, basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Led by your boy Devin Booker. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, um, the Suns are a good team though. 
We also have that that professional soccer team. It was their first year, and they actually won the championship this uh, past weekend. The, San the Diego guys, Waves, right? no, the girls. Oh, the girls team. San Diego Wave. Alex Morgan. Yeah, she, they won the the championships. That's beastie. This, yeah, the, I think it was That's the same. It was the same day or the day after the. I think it was Char- the same day. Padre Dodger game. Yeah, it just. Everybody was looking at the Padres. Yeah, but, nah, I, but I hear that stadium's pretty sold out though too. Yeah, no. Nah, what was dude. that at Snapdragon? At the new one. Yeah. The I think it's gonna be the Aztec Stadium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's called Snapdragon. Oh yeah, Snapdragon. Yeah. That's a pretty cool name for a stadium though too. Yeah, I I want to go there. I want to go see a. I, I want to for sure see a girl game, a uh, girl soccer game, because they get lit. I heard. I, would, I wouldn't mind going as a girls soccer game too. They're gonna have a Monster Jam right there. Oh yeah, that's really? true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, that's pretty lit. They took that from from uh, Petco from Park. Petco. That's yeah. gonna be cool, man, because you get to tailgate a little bit more. Yeah, right there in that area. Mm-hmm. That would definitely. I wonder be. if they kept their. Did, did they keep the same like uh, parking lot, or did they rebuild that too? Mm, I don't know. I'm I sure, like the I'm way sure the stadium's something. like a little underground. But it was cool because like it flowed good, you know. Yeah. Like once you. Yeah, nah, dude. The, the man, they built that stadium so fast, too. Fast, huh? dog. I felt like I, I, it was like less than a year they built that shit. But they, it's probably like three years. They can't the even get done with the in and out, huh? <laughs> I know, huh? Fucking in and out's taking freaking you, forever. You, fucking change the topic. You know that when they put the when they cross the the palm trees at in and out, that means that they're about to open up, and they already did, they already did that there. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, know it was about to open up. I thought it was more of like a god thing. Like a guard thing? Yeah. Because yeah. you know how the cups on the bottom, it says like John 316. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're... I had in and out the other what day. Is, it's it's a cr- smacking. It's, is that a Christian Christian uh, franchise? I don't, I don't like know if it's Christian. Religious or, or what? Yeah, yeah they're, they're religious. Yeah, they're religious though. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but shit. But they don't close on Sundays. Yeah. Like... Yeah. They what? But they don't close on Sundays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... um. I, I know they're real strict on like their tattoo policy too. Oh, in I and don't out. know. That. Yeah. But they, man, they player. bank though, man. I wouldn't doubt if the one in National City right here is probably the busiest one, like, out there. That one. Nah, the busiest one's money. in Vegas. Remember? You think so? The one at Linwood? Yeah, remember we we looked it up, didn't we? Uh, I don't I don't know if we looked it up, but I know the one in National City right here. That shit just stays making money, dog. I think that one's like a freaking gold mine. It's like an hour wait every time. Yeah. So um, I got this cool thing. So last week um. I think I told you guys earlier, but me and my pops last week we Barstow, yeah, busiest one. Ooh, yeah, that one's cracking. So uh, yeah, last week me and my pops uh, we actually went fishing on a half day boat last week. Uh, woke up like at five in the morning. Haven't woke up like that early in such a long time. But we went out fishing, and um, I want to do it with you guys and see if you guys want to roll out and do some. So oh, yeah, half I wanna, day fishing, bro. I want to for sure go. That shit was lit, dude. I was out there at seven in the morning drinking a beer, just fucking just chilling, dude. We caught some uh some sculpting. Everybody on that boat was catching sculpting. Um and then uh red snappers were catching red snappers, kelp bass. Uh a guy caught a fucking like a fat ass uh it was a blue ahi something. I don't know if it was tuna or what, but the fish was like yeah, a good, like three feet long. Ahi, and it was pretty it's big. Tuna. Yeah, anything ahi is tuna. Uh, yeah, so I guess he caught a, a fat ass tuna too. And then it's cool too because uh, when you get there, you pay like three dollars, and then everybody pays three dollars, and then it becomes a jackpot of like one hundred eighty bucks because oh, it's like sixty people. So whoever catches the biggest fish takes in that, that trip, yeah, takes that one hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, which is pretty cool. I mean. I like gambling, so I don't mind throwing three dollars in and win one eighty. That's a good bet. I've never caught a fish, bro. Yeah, because anybody can catch a fish. Yeah. Yeah. It just you throw your you throw. Nah, trust me, fool. Oh no, no, I'm pretty sure on there. Yeah, like I caught like five fish on that trip because they know where the fish are at. They're yeah, yeah. They got those good ass fish finders and they take you out there and they know exactly where they're going. Do they put up a good fight or not? Yeah, yeah. Like you get tired. The one, the one. Yeah, well, the one that I had, it took me like five minutes to pull up. It was only like 10 pounds. It was a, I think it was a mackerel. Mackerel is like a fish that you don't want to eat because they're real slimy and shit. But they put up a really good fight and they're really aggressive. So you're pulling them up and God, they give you a fight. Like trying to pull that fool up and he's just like constantly pulling your your reel down. And I wonder how that, how was it with that guy with the big ass fish? Did that fool put No, that fool, that fool pulled that shit up quick, fool. Oh, damn. It, like, Three minutes, that fool pulled it up. That fish gave him no fight. And then they grabbed that the stick. It's called a gaff. And it has and the hook him. on it. Yeah, and they fucking stabbed the fish. And then they brought his ass onto the boat. 
And once I seen that fish, I was like, fuck, <laughs> I'm not going to win. Yeah. yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I'm in the lead. I had like three fish and then uh, like uh, everybody else had like one or two. And yeah, that fool brought up that fat ass fish. I was like, damn, I just lost. <laughs> Oh. Here you go. Yeah, Here's your but three no, bucks. it was it was a great experience though. It's super fun. If you've never done a half day fishing boat, try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna. You, fall, even if do you that do get seasick, sure. take some like Dramamine or something like that before you go on the boat. That way, it kind of uh, I don't know what, exactly what Dramamine does for you. What is but it? But it, it takes away your um, it's motion it's sickness. Like, yeah, your mo- your motion, motion sick sickness. exactly it takes away your motion sick. I don't know how it does it or balance out your equilibrium, but yeah. It uh, prevents you from, like, throwing up and shit. But, yeah, shit was fun, though, man. Yeah. But, yeah, let's do that. Um, I want to book it pretty soon, so hopefully we can yeah, book motion it for, si- for It's next motion Sunday. sickness medicine. Like, that's what it is. Well, if you yeah. do it on the 30th, yeah, I'm down, too. Yeah, it'll be on a Sunday, though. Yeah. Yeah, as long yeah, as you can wake sure. up early in the morning. Shit, I'm good, good with that. Take off, go have some beers at, like, 7 in the morning over there. What time do you so, usually get back by? Uh, We'll be back by. We'll be back. Off of the boat by like twelve thirty. Oh, okay. That's yeah, not so bad. you still oh, have the whole bad. rest of the day. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, last week was perfect because there wasn't a lot of sun and it was mainly cloudy out there, but it wasn't like ice cold out there, like shivering. Like yeah, you just wear a, a regular t-shirt or a jacket and you're good. Yeah, I'm down. You're coming in for that. Uh, I yeah. want to do that. Let's shit do so it bad. though. Guys, and then the, we'll probably and then the fish. I know the the full day ones. I've heard that they like cut the fish up and they cook it on the boat. But do they do that? For um for, so for this one they'll fillet it for you so the way they fillet it it goes by the type of fish so like a sculpting it'll be like three three bucks because they're poisonous so they got to cut off oh shit certain, really yeah certain parts oh, i didn't know that there was yeah poisonous. so if your family gets sick don't blame me ah just kidding hey that one's like the one with like the with yeah. the spikes and then it's like brown and like exactly like red, it's yeah, like right? it's more reddish if yeah, anything. yeah, reddish, yeah. yeah. it's a one on the fucking beer right exactly oh, okay yeah, yeah. exactly so um like those fish to fillet, they'll fillet them for you. They're like three bucks. Uh, a regular bass is like two bucks. Uh, tuna is like eight bucks. Um, no, but they get down. They'll freaking fillet it for you. They'll bag it up for you. Um, and then it's cool because like um, they'll give you like a number. Like say you're number 13. Yeah. And then um, every time you go to the bar to get a drink, you don't pay. You just tell you them your number. The yeah, yeah, and you just pay at the end. Though. So there's no line to get drinks. You just go to the bar, grab your drink, and then fucking just oh, that's keep it. it fishing. Be using everyone's number. Oh, and it do, it, it, that's what me and my dad were talking about the other day. We're like, man, like, these fools don't even, like, check your number. Like, you just say, oh, just 13. All right, cool. Here you go. And then you just write number 13, one beer. What? Yeah, like, they don't even check numbers. You can say, like, a random number and fucking probably charge somebody else for the beer. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Not a bad I idea. I don't like you. What's your number? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, yeah, we great. should get a squad though and uh, and head out there though. I think it'll be a great trip for yeah for all of us. If we go, I'm gonna for sure vlog that shit because that shit sounds fucking. Yeah, super you can either dope. use the GoPro or you can use your vlogging camera. I yeah. think the GoPro will probably be easier. Yeah, it'll be better. Smaller. Um, yeah, but it, it's fun though. It's cool, man. I had a good ass time. You can smoke on there. You can't smoke weed, but I mean, if you mm. have a pen, you can get away with it. Can't smoke, smoke cigarettes. I wonder. I want, like. I wonder if I wait, do they fillet the, the fish for you on the boat? Yeah, they fillet I, it I on wonder the boat. if I take like some lemon, like some lemon. I'm pretty you know? sure. Yeah, I'm pretty ju- sure you can. I just fucking make a quick ceviche, like fast ass oh, ceviche. F- fuck yeah, yeah. You, know, like you could even one. prep. You could even prep it the night before, like all the extra yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, just take it with you, and then um, because you could bring your own food and stuff like, on just there. Just a little one, you know, just to throw like a couple fillets and then boom, boom. Just yeah, yeah. Just have it at, like ready to go, like in a little thing of lemon and shit like that. And then once you get the fish, just throw it in there. Shake it up real quick And then just Yeah, yeah You can bang some out I'm, I'm gonna try sure. I'm gonna try to do that shit I'm pretty sure That shit'll be fire Cause it's like Fresh instant It'll, Right yeah. off the boat You know It'll, Everybody's probably gonna be like Hey let me get some like, Oh yeah for sure You could probably even Flip it Three and sell bucks. some On there full Fucking Three five dollars Make my money back out, For the know? filet Eight bucks of lime <laughs> <laughs> And a sandwich oh, yeah. bag Yeah I, I, that would be good though Yeah I'd yeah. try it just, put, um, just make like 10, 20 sandwich bags With a bunch of lime in it Yeah and sell the bags They just toss your fish in there yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Some people even sell you their fish because some people just like going out there and catching yeah, it like me. They like the sport. And then, yeah, I'll just fucking, like, I usually give all my fish to you whenever yeah. I, I go fishing. So, yeah, I uh, think my dad, I, I think my dad, he, um, he put it in the freezer and then we're going to cook it sometime this week, he said. Yeah, let's see if your, your dad wants to go too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your dad will be the, down to go. For the fish, like, can you tell the taste of like, like, Different Each ones? Fish? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not very 
I have to texture. Guys, so. I can. Oh, like, yeah. Red Snapper, bro, is fucking fire. Hey, hey, did you eat that yet? No, not yet. No, I'm there, there's, he's in there. There's Red Snapper it. in there, too. Yeah, Red Snapper is really good. That's like, when you go to, like, El Cacho, they have, like, a Red Snapper tostada. If you try that, obviously, versus, like, a tu the tuna, big difference. But if you do, like, a tilapia and a Red Snapper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or even, like, a, a catfish, that one, like, that's just pretty good, too. The one that I've always wanted, like, that I've always wanted to try, but it's super hard to find. I think, I don't even know if they sell it here. It's the, the one that, the one that uh, gets... Uh, a blowfish. A blowfish? The blowfish. Or a halibut? A blowfish is, uh, that one's, like, super dangerous to, like, yeah, fillet. I, I don't know if it has, does it have spikes on it? Yeah. Like, actual, like, poisonous spikes? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But or are they flimsy? It's I don't know, but you, you get that one, like not like so they puff up and then they like yeah so like when they're like when they're telling us hey if you do catch a scoping like don't even try to touch it just call one of us and then um we'll grab it for you because yeah. they're very poisonous so if you get stung by that shit that shit fucking obviously hurts. i don't know if a blowfish will fuck you up if you touch it but if you if they fillet it wrong bro they if they pop like a the, the little bag or something that shit will fucking kill you bro like oh, instant really? yeah I know that that shit is really, really, like in Japan, bro. In Japan, you have to be like a master sous chef, like sushi chef or whatever, to be so able to fillet it, bro. Like, oh wow. Even I don't even. I think that shit's illegal here, if yeah, I'm not wrong. Yeah, right. Yeah, you have to be like super certified to be able to cut that shit up. That's crazy. Damn, um, that's wild. Fuck. Yeah, but that shit'll kill you, dog. Like, that's why too. A lot of time, like that shit's super expensive when you when you eat it. Yeah. When you buy it, it's super expensive. Cause I didn't know that. Damn. There's, there's one fish I've been wanting to catch, and that's been a yellowtail. I've never caught a yellowtail before, but I hear those are are super fire to eat though too. Yellowtail? What yeah. is that? Like a it's a, it's a salmon? Certain, nah, it's a I don't know. It's a certain type of it's fish. A tuna. Though. Tuna, huh? Yeah, right. Tuna. But, you got uh, yellowtail. I think it's blue. Blue ahi. And then maybe a third one, but yeah, it's. Yeah, Tuna. yeah, yellow, yeah, they're the big ones, right? And then their face is kind of like round. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were looking it up. I think uh, so. Yellow tail. Yeah, it's tuna. Yeah. Blue tail. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one? Amberjack. Yeah. Oh, those ones right there. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is not tuna, Fuzzy. What is it? Uh, yellow tail kingfish. Amberjack. Nah, it's a snapper. Oh, really? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I like, have you, do you like, like, poke, pokey or poke? Yeah. That shit is fire, bro. Like, I think rock, I've only rock. tried, like, the bites of it. Never, like, a whole meal oh, of it. Oh, that's, so, that's just but, so good, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like, like eating sushi. Raw, raw tuna is fucking fire, bro. Especially with that poke sauce mm -hmm. that they use. I got one, one of my boys, uh, Holy Camaro, Holy Camaroni, or Holy... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that fool used to fucking make some fire ass like uh, tuna, like raw tuna with this like fucking secret sauce. Oh my god, that shit was so freaking good, bro. Um, that's right, that's right. Yeah, man. So it's been a good week, huh? Fucking yeah. Padres. You tired? You tired from the gym right now? Yeah, big time. Yeah, I'm already eight pounds. Well, proud of you. You eight lost pound. a lot of weight so far, and you're consistent. Eight pounds down. Been at it for a month. Fucking actually doing a pretty good job. I feel, I feel a lot. I feel a lot more energetic. Like, I feel like it's helping me with my with my posture, my back. Like all the tension that I've had in my back for all these years, bro. I feel yeah. like that shit went away big time, big well, time, good. bro. Um, yeah, I feel more, more you're motivating me to want to go back to the gym, dog. I feel more energized, like especially because I work out in the morning. I feel like. Today, I felt stronger at the gym. Like, I actually went up in weight, you know, and yeah. I don't feel as tired you as I like, felt the this first two feels weeks. Light. Like, I need a little bit more weight now. Yeah, the That's first two up. weeks, bro, like, I was sore, as, like, super sore. Like, today, I, I worked out and I'm not sore anymore right now, but. Yeah. Going, um, going back to what you just said right now, that's good that you took initiative to tell, you know, your trainer, like, hey, like, I'm fucking smashing this shit. Give me some more weight. Like, yeah. I want to move up already, which is good. Taking initiative and you know your body. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm doing fucking, I'm doing burpees like, like nothing, you know, like I did fucking 30 today and that's that, good. That I don't was, even think I could do like five dog. Yeah. But I do them in sets out. like uh 10 at a time, but that's just crazy, bro. I fucking love it. I've actually like, there's days that I don't want to go, bro. And I go still obviously. And 
when I'm out, when I'm walking out, I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm so glad I, I came, you know? Yeah. But I could definitely see like the difference from the first two weeks to now, bro. It's like way, f- way better, bro. Like wait till you, big difference. Wait till you get to that point where you're like, I need to go to the gym. Yeah. Like, I want to go to the gym. So that That's when you're going to fucking, you're going to really be like beastie and fucking... The motivated other, to go cause yeah the other day i was lifting some shit at the house and i felt like oh fuck like you're like oh shit this shit's like, fucking easy like I, it felt you're like mom let me mom yeah. you need help with the groceries and <laughs> fucking take them all in one trip and i feel like i could I, you know i could feel like my arm it's not growing big time but i could feel like you know it's oh, it's growing it's leaning you know yeah. like i could see like now you're gonna have more space for tattoos because now yeah. you have like a little hump now you know yeah like it's Damn, I didn't. I dude, I've I've never been muscular. Muscular. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's muscle in there, but it's a tiny ass muscle. I've never lifted weights in my life or anything. Yeah, I used to do just fucking soccer, fucking training. So that's yeah, just more like endurance and shit. Yeah, but that, it feels good, bro. I, I actually like working out right now. I, I uh, the diets that I'm doing, fucking legit. I feel my stomach's a lot like slim Sl- yeah like slim. not all bloated and shit yeah exactly bro because yeah. I, I, that's what i that's hate the, good the most thing, like that bloatedness it, it, even right now you could probably eat like shit like one good meal like eat a whole plate of carne asada fries and you still won't feel bloated yeah. you know what i mean yeah my boy actually my trainer actually just told me today that i can actually have a day a day out of the week where i like like my sunday Munch i can actually hard. you know have a pretty good meal like fuck it you know i've obviously just as long as i go back to it on monday and yeah, as long as you go stay back consistent to my at it, you know. But I've been actually, I've been doing pretty good, bro. And I fucking like it. And I like to be committed. That's one thing that I've always been like. If I commit to something, I got to really fucking do it, you know? Yeah. So that, that's the reason why I really got a like a personal trainer, bro. I knew that if I didn't get a personal, I've been trying to fucking work out for so long. But every time I, like I would get off of work or, or in the morning, I would, I, like at night, I would be like, oh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go for a run and do push-ups and then whatever. And I would get up and fucking go back to sleep bro you know like that's how i am right now I, so my like, alarm's at six so i'll get up and then i'll just shut my alarm off and go back to sleep yeah like, but right now no, since, i'm good like like my 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 trainer emilio like this fool takes it serious you know and he's there like he'll be there waiting for me and like there's been times where like when leah got sick i was like hey bro like i won't be able to make it and he's like oh well like he doesn't give it like he he'll be like oh well that's on you, dog. You're the one, you know, if you don't want to be serious about it, then that's on you, you know? Like, he, like, told me once, he was like, bro, even if you feel like shit, just come, you know? Like, it doesn't even matter. Just come. Like, if you're sick, you know, it's going to help you. He's like, those are the things that make you, you know, successful overcoming that fucking, that, that, that lack, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, and and I think that's why I was like, you know what? I got to get a, I got to get a personal trainer. I got to pay for it and actually commit, have a time, like, I know I have to be there on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at eight thirty, and that makes me feel like I'm like responsible, kind of like forced to go. And then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it helps yeah. me out a lot more. Yeah, it's because it's an obligation. You obligation. Know? Like, you there have you to go. Be there. You yeah, know? it's like you feel like you're gonna let someone down exactly. because you're missing the appointment. You yeah, know? it's like having a no call, no show. And I, and honestly, bro, like he he's such a good trainer. Dog. Well, I mean, both of my trainers, like my life coach, fucking uh, Smitty, he's fucking beastie, bro. Like checking in on me every fucking other day, every day sometimes, like, you know, making sure that I'm, like, fucking sticking to my diets and all that shit. And then Emilio, like, fucking, he'll straight up tell me, like, bro, you got to come. Like, he could easily be like, oh, fuck it, you don't want to come in? All right, fuck it. You know, I, I, yeah. I already got paid, so who gives a fuck? You get me? Uh, but he actually cares. I think just because, like, cause, like a lot of people, when they first do it, and it's like, they have like a an excuse not to go like if you really wanted to i mean i guess you could go yeah you know but it's just easy yeah to not you know so that's why you kind of put that in your head like if you even feel like shit like just pull up you know you got to stay in that routine yeah even if you're there for like 10 minutes just staying in that routine of getting up and going going there and even if you're just in the sauna sweating it out the sickness out that shit is sick for the sauna yeah. It, but, I feel like you still stay in that routine, yeah. so like you're still good to go for the next day. Or you yeah, know. it's funny because he told me the other day he was like, he's like, "Fuck, bro." He's like, "Every time it's your t- time to come, I get nervous because I feel like you're gonna not like you're not gonna come because I already I think I missed like two two days, you know. And I mean, it w- one of them was because of Leah being sick, and then the other one, I forgot what it was. I had a 
was a legitimate excuse. Yeah, they were both legitimate excuses, but still, like, he, like, and it was at the beginning, like, I think it was the first day that I was supposed to go, and then, like, the end of that same week, you know? Oh, and, okay. like, it started off bad. Like, my first day, I didn't show up. And he was like, oh, fuck. Like, I, I think he thought, like, damn, this fool's not taking it serious. But today, he was like, hey, so how long has it been? And I was like, fuck, this is my fourth week. He's like, oh, shit. Like, that's, like, you've actually been fucking doing good. And, yeah, I was like, he, he even told me, he's like, yeah, you, you, you're starting to look more, like, like, more not comfortable, but, like, you're actually, you know, progressing and. yeah. So I like it, bro. It's been fucking good. The, the first day I threw up, now I'm lasting. I don't even complain as much as I did the first week or two. Like, mm -hmm. I love you it, know, bro. When I used to do the kickboxing, Stephanie fainted the first, during the warm-up. What? Yeah. Fainted? Oh, shit. Yeah. Why? Because it was fucking intense. Hardcore? Yeah, it was just intense. The warm-up was pretty. What the hell? Pretty brutal. And Why? Yeah. You guys, did she get beat up or something? Nah. Or she just fainted because she got like winded and shit? Probably? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she was damn. like. Oh, I feel dizzy. I was like, all right, we'll just take a breather. She ended up going to the bathroom and never came back. She opened up the door. And as soon as she opened up the door, she like fell forward. Bah, in front oh, of everybody. Fuck. You know? Holy shit. And then when shit. she fell, she had like a seizure. She, she hit like a pole. So she got a seizure. Like, yeah. It was Home. like, what the hell? That happened to me once. That's crazy. Uh, With this woman. Yeah. yeah. We were smoking After hookah. Smoking, yeah, smoking hookah. I fucking fainted. Starbucks, orange. Hey, but that could have probably happened to me that first day because, fool, that first yeah. day that I went to go work out, bro, I threw up six times. We're in the bathroom, like, bro, bro, just throwing up. And I was all dizzy, bro. I was driving home, bro, and I was falling asleep driving, bro. I was like, God, I was so weak. I was like, oh, no, I, know, I know that feeling. I was like, <sighs> I was like, oh, my God, you bro. You go to sleep good, huh? I told, I, I, I was literally about to call my girl to come pick me up because I felt bad, fool, that first day. Then again, that fucking, the night before, I was drinking. So I learned not to do that no more. Like, now, like, I don't drink before the day before and I don't eat past, like, six the day before because I already, I just don't want to wake up fucking messed up for my Feels stomach. Feels good, huh? When you wake up in the morning, yeah, you're fucking bro. all flat That's, and tight yeah, and shit. Yeah, dog. Like, you're like, oh, hell yeah. I like, fucking look good. Even though I love I eating. I go eat for the rest of the like, day. Like, ah. even though I love eating, bro, like, I fucking, I, me, I'm a fucking, I'm a foodie type of guy. Like, I love good food, you know? And, like, sometimes that food is, like, very spicy or, like, a lot of spices and it'll fuck up your stomach, you know? Yeah. And, I, like, so before I started working out, I would always go to sleep with a full ass stomach. Like I couldn't go to sleep unless I was super full. That's and then, me right now, bro. And then like I would always wake up with like a tummy ache or like fucking had to go take a shit right away. Like first thing in the morning, you know, like first thing you wake up, just, you know, exactly. Like I had to drink water, heartburn. And then right now, bro, I haven't felt I haven't been feeling like that when I wake up. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. So like, yeah, you go to sleep happy because you're full and you ate something bomb. But I think for me. I'm starting to to lean more towards waking up better, you know, like, I don't know, I guess they say, like, I guess it is true what they say about you being younger and not, like, not not going through none of those things when you're like younger, you know? Yeah, and fucking, like, you can eat anything and you wake up good. You could fuck, you know, I guess now that I'm getting yeah, you older, don't like, a pound, fool. yeah, now that I'm getting older, I guess that shit really does catch yeah, up to you, you get me? your metabolism fucking slows down after, I think after the age of 30, your metabolism slows down. Yeah. The, Same thing with your testosterone, that shit slows down too. Yeah, the thing with me, bro, like, I eat and sh I could literally eat right now and in three minutes, I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, so yeah, that's now, true. now that I'm like, now that I fucking work out, it's even more like, okay, like I'm shitting more solid too. So it's pretty fucking dude, dope. Right. I like it. I fucking love it. So everybody go fucking sign up for the gym and get yourself a personal trainer. I think that's the best way. If you, if I think if any one of you guys is looking to like really fucking start your, your fitness, like, uh, um, journey, you have to get a, you have to get a, uh, personal trainer. And you learn, and you learn as well, like or someone that's just gonna hold you accountable. Exactly, you know that's uh, you gotta go with somebody who's like a gym rat, who's just always there, always wants to go. To go yeah, you know. I mean, I, 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 I still, I, I still feel like little, you can, you can still be like, ah, hey, yeah. fool, I don't want to go today. All yeah. right, well, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. You know, it just, you didn't pay for at it. At the end know? of the day, you just feel bad letting somebody down. Yeah, you know? bro, especially because especially could, if you're paying though, if you're paying, it's like fuck, like. I'm I can tell I'm that for nothing, I know? can tell that he gets kind of like upset if I don't go, you know. So yeah. it's like, oh fuck, I can't let him down, you know. But it's pretty cool. I'm telling you guys, man, we should all go. I got two buddy passes, so I can take two people at all times. 
But I want to, I want to for sure, I, I only go three times with him. I want to go like to at least two other times to either play basketball or like go lift or yeah. go fucking I mean, go in the sauna. I'll go, I'll go with you every day. They have the, they have the, 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 Let the, me know. the pool in there that too. That way I can adjust my schedule. They got a dope ass pool. I would like to go in the morning earlier, bro. Like if I could go in like at five. And get that shit done, but fuck, we'll, that means we'll, going to sleep early. We'll, we'll try to go tomorrow. I'll hit you up at five in the morning. If you're up, you're up. If not, then yeah. Fuck it, I'm just gonna hit the, the thing is with button. me, bro. Sometimes I'm going to sleep at four. <laughs> Yikes! Four in the morning is like yeah, the time that I'm if like you're going to sleep at that late. Yeah, yeah. but it's crazy. Got you out for sure. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like the other day, I fell I fell asleep like at four, bro, and I had to wake up to take Leo to school at seven. Well, I have to get up at seven to get her ready and then drop her off at eight. Yeah, and then from there I go straight to the gym, bro. I was done fool like i was so sleepy here at, at work like bad i was really sleepy like getting your sleep really fucking it really helps out big time but oh, yeah. yeah shit yeah, i need my i need my 12 hours or else i can't function see i can't sleep no more than like seven hours though yeah. not no more i used to be able to sleep fucking 12 hours bro but now if i sleep more than like seven eight hours i get headaches bro and i feel like 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 groggy all day i gotta sleep i, I gotta Fucking stop I, eating edibles before I go to sleep, dog. I, I eat edibles every night, bro. Oh, that's I, fucking I why you don't wake up, fool. Eight, every time I eat nine edibles, hours, bro. It, it, it's hard to get up. When you're when you take I wake edibles, I'm feeling bomb, but yeah, I just when I used to take like, edibles, I used to I fucking. Stop, do you dog. like wake up and like you try to open your eyes, but they're like closed. super heavy, yeah. huh? like your super your close. Eyebrows, you're like your you, eyebrows are the only thing that yeah. go up. You're but like, hey, but you what? but when you the times that I do that I do eat edibles. You get the best sleep. You actually rest, bro. Like you go into deep sleep. You yeah. know, and that's the ones a good that I got. They have like a. It's like oh, that sleeping CBD. shit. Yeah, it has that. that oh, those are shit good. In it. Yeah, those are good actually. Um, like melatonin. It doesn't have a lot of THC. It's you just, only like just don't 5 take too much. Percent THC <laughs> and like four, like three CBD and like two of that. Oh, see, I need shit, that right you know? there. I, that, I, I think and, I need uh, that. Cause yeah. fool, I can't go to sleep. That's the thing with me, bro. Like yeah, those gummies hit, fool. They smack me, fool. Like in an hour, I'll just be watching Netflix. I like to fight it too, so I'll be like having my eyes open while I'm trying to watch a movie, and I'll start like dazing off, and then I'll kind of wake back up. <laughs> you know, just I like going in and out of it just to fight it, bro. I don't know. It just feels fire for some reason. Hey, but that's see. I, I need I need to hop on those, bro. Cause. Sometimes, bro, I'll be like up full three in the morning and I'm like not sleepy, bro. And I'm and I'll even turn off the TV. I'll turn off my phone and I'll just lay there, bro. And I'm like, I'm full, bored. 20, I'm 30, min- 20, 20 30 the- minutes pass by, bro. And I, I just wake up and I'm like, I'm just going to stay on yeah. my phone. Cause the best part is like the, the bed starts hugging you and shit. And like your bed feels like hella soft. And, like, and then you could take edibles, but like, I would you don't say have to use it on your take that day. much, you know? Yeah. See, like, I, just I take a little bit. So it's in you, but I'm not just scared like, of weed now, bro. High. I'm scared of weed, fool. Just start off small. Start off with like I five get, milligrams bro, and move up. And I used to be the biggest stoner, bro, but I'm scared of weed now. Like, I'm scared that I'm going to start tripping and it doesn't go away when I want it to go away, you know? Yeah. I'll be taking like 200 milligrams. No, yeah, mommy. Yeah. Are you serious? I swear. And what the fuck do you feel? Do you function? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you can actually, can you drive on that? Mm-hmm. No. I won't do it while I have to work, but yeah, I could function. Like what? If I take one hit of weed and start driving, I get fucking nervous, dog. Nah, see, like me, I used to be able to drive. I would smoke oh, and drive, smoke yeah. and drive all the time. But smoking like, gets me more paranoid than edibles. For oh no, nah, see me, I was because like, no, me, I'm the other way. Like it creeps in, so I could kind of like. Nah, for me, it's the other way. Edibles, know? I cannot fuck with. Like, not like me, ten milligrams. I'm fucking floored. How much do you take? Ten. Yeah, I'm floored yeah. with ten. But see, like well, the I other moved up to ten, though. Definitely like, takes I started off at of five, five, then I moved up yeah. to ten. Like and me, now I'm chilling at ten, though. See, like me, the other day I took a hit of some weed. Where were the fuck was? Where was I? Uh, you were on your way to the movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. at the movies, bro. Full. I you didn't a, get I, shit. I, that little nah, fool. That I still have that shit. I literally oh, took God. a little piece. I was oh, like, I took, it was I, like dust. I was like, bro, like you're not even gonna feel nah, anything. I was a tiny nugget like this small, like this small, yeah, full, but nothing. I literally pinched it off. You know, you it was know, like mu- half a gram or something. Not even half a gram. It was like a point three. But you know how much? You know how much I smoked? You know the sneaker tokes that look like cigarettes, just enough to fill that little hole. And then I, I didn't even finish. I just, and then fucking just like one little puff. Held it, yeah. fool. But I, bro, that fucking like it was like I was I was th- body high. Like stoned, but I didn't like trip out at all. I felt good, bro. I was like, oh shit, I felt good. If I could just smoke like that, I think I could, I'll be good. Or, or like when I'm at concerts or like when I'm out 
and I don't have like Leo or I'm not at work. Yeah. If I'm smoking, like I'll take the way I do it is I'll take a little puff. And then once I feel like the high and I'm comfortable, all right, boom. And then I could just start smoking blunt after blunt after blunt. Like I'll be able to smoke more if I could feel that it's comfortable. But if I take a fat hit for my first hit and I get stoned, like boom, like I get like slapped. Like smoke a whole boom, blunt. Boom. And no, then no, you're like super high. No, like, there, no like, like let's say they pass me the blind. I just go like, uh, okay, 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 like a fat ass hit, right? That's my first hit. I'll be fucking tripping. But if I take a little hit and then I'll take another little hit and then I'll be like, all right, all right, oh, I could, all right, I'm stoned. It's like take, it's like dipping your foot in the pool and then you're like, all right, and then you just jump in, you know, like. Well, that I mean, that shit helps me for the, some reason. The, now that I'm older, the way I see it is like, you know, we always talk about flavors. Like the way I see weed now is like. Like weed being like a cigar, uh-huh. you know, like you're, I'm tasting it. Like yeah. it's, all, it's the whole process. It's like chilling, you know, it's not just about getting high. Yeah. You know, yeah it's yeah. just kind of like a, like a routine. Yeah. No, no. Like you know you're being saying? a connoisseur. Like you're fucking. Yeah. 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 It's like more, yeah. more thought into it as yeah, opposed yeah. to just getting, oh, I want to get fucked up. It's like yeah. more like. Well, that's how like me. You I know. It's like drinking wine. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this wine is the best, you know, you're not going to chug it, you know, you're going to take a sip, yeah. smell it. And that's where I'm at now, you know, that I'm a little bit older. I'm like smelling the flower, you know, I enjoy the process of like breaking it up and seeing the different colors and the different yeah. smells, the textures. Yeah. See, you know? the reason why I stopped smoking at work, though, was for that reason that it would take too long for that, you know, that process. And I think that's what really fucking just started getting me paranoid that I just, mm-hmm. I stopped smoking at work where, where I would always smoke at, you know, but it would take too long. That's why I was like, nah, fuck this. Like fucking rolling it, breaking it up, fucking breaking it up, rolling it, yeah. smoking it. It's like a fucking 30 minute process. I lose out on money. I know. So then I remember trying to get a haircut from you yeah, back in the day. It's like, fuck, this fool's fucking going to go outside and smoke. Another and then, like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Was, lagging. And then fucking like, I was like, nah, fuck that. And then I just stopped smoking. And then, but me, bro, like, I was all into flavors, bro. Like, my favorite shit was, like, uh, OG or, like, Runs. Runs. Runs, OG, fucking. Yeah. OG was, but, like, my ultimate fucking that. Yeah. The man. way I see it is the weed is, like, a cigar. You know, yeah. just kind of, like, kind of classy. Yeah. You know, it depends on how, how you see it, how you feel about it, you know? And it has to be on joints. But for me, it's more like I enjoy it. Like, when I smoke, it means that I'm just, I'm done doing business. Yeah, you're chilling. It's time to chill. Like, I have nothing else to worry about. So, yeah. when I, when I, once I start doing that, it's more like a like a flip a switch. Like, you know what? Like, I'm done with everything. I'm just in the moment now, chilling. Yeah. Doing what See, I'm doing. I, 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 I totally, like, understand that. And I wish I could do that, too, right? I wish I could do that. But, for I, I can't be, like, I can't be stoned around my daughter. Like that shit kind of trips me out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm, I mean you can. I'm, I mean, you can do I'm it. like, I know. I, I, I know it's like the like, days are numbered. Yeah. Where I'm gonna have to hide it a little bit more. But I don't know. For me, I feel like she'll know that I'm stoned, and I'm like, fuck. She knows. She knows. Yeah. And then that kind of starts giving me like a fucking like anxiety. Like, uh, more anxiety. You know, like like I have to hide the bomb. Yeah, or, exactly. You know, it's a lamp. You know. <laughs> Yeah. It's a water, it's a, what do they say? Water, it's a water pipe or what did they say? Yeah, water pipe. Yeah. But yeah, man, let us know how, hey, let us know how you guys smoke your weed. I want to know because there's, so, you know, you know what I fucking, I want to fucking bust out and I would like to smoke weed out of again. My member, do you, my volcano, the, the, my volcano, what's it called? The vaporizer. Yeah. Volcano. The, vaporizer. the vaporizer. That think, shit's crazy. I think that's cool because, like, a lot of times I feel like when we smoke and we freak out, it's because it's the actual All the smoke. bad shit, too, huh? It's all the tar, all the, yeah. you know, whatever it may be. It's not as bad as cigarettes, but it is smoke. The only thing that's supposed to go in your lungs is yeah. oxygen, yeah. you know? So I feel like when it's pure THC, like when you eat an edible, it's like a cleaner, or when you do a dab, but not when you do a big dab. Yeah. You know, when you do a small one, it's like a, it's your your high, but it's a different high. Yeah. It feels like cleaner. Yeah. So I feel like when you smoke a blunt or you know whatever, you're getting more of that toxin. Yeah. So kind of like affects the way you feel about it and the way. Yeah. You know. I still got that fucking vaporizer, and it's like a fucking five hundred dollar vaporizer mm-hmm. that I have. Those big. I think bags if you vaporize, I, like, I think it'll be. It. I think it'll huh? be good. It. Nah, hell no, dude. I f- they don't even make those no more. I fuck. I'm gonna keep that shit. 
because i would eventually want to use it again i would yeah. like i think i don't know maybe later on when i'm older and i'm ready to like just fucking yeah i mean I to know. each their own you know like when you know when you want to do it you do it yeah you know? like it's the other like, day i enjoyed it a lot for when when i took that small hit like maybe i should try doing that more often like when i'm out like when i'm out and about with the fam like just take a little ass hit and then but make boom, sure you know? it's like good shit though oh yeah no nah, like, for sure like yeah, some good neck and shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah me all the stems homie. i will see the thing with me bro i always try to like i always try to have the best shit so i always i always made sure that shit was my fucking i think i gotta go hit up fucking march and ash or some shit like that you know yeah. it's probably like yeah. the fucking best fucking place to go to right now I smoked the other day, fucking before I went into haunted trails. That shit was pretty cool. Yeah, huh? Yeah. See, when watching I the movie Stone is kind of it's pretty cool. Like, like at the movies, that was that's pretty cool. I I I had a good time. I was actually laughing. Intense. I was actually laughing at dumb shit, and I like that shit kind of gave me flashbacks of when I used to be stoned all the time and <laughs> like like anything I'll was funny. Fucking, like <laughs> yeah. I'd be cracking up at everything. Dog, <laughs> like, fucking lit. That shit Fuck. is funny, bro. I fucking funny love ass it. Folk. I miss it though. Dog. Like I wish I could still be. A stoner like i really do but i don't know something just happened to me i just started fucking tripping You'd rather be a stoner than a drinker yeah fuck yeah all day long bro all day long yeah fuck yeah yeah absolutely. man absolutely all right well with that being said i think we're gonna call get it your night. smoke on get yes, your smoke sir. on we had a long day hey, we, we should try to smoke for for a podcast soon like take a couple hits like <laughs> i think we did it not too long ago but we should try to do it again. I kind of roll up some joints, or we should get yeah. one of those the cookies. Oh fuck no! See, you're <laughs> tripping, dog. You're trying to get fucking. You're trying to get fucking destroyed. Yeah, I'm those. good with like one or two <laughs> hits, and I'm chilling. Yeah, same here. I'll I'll take one or two hits, and then if it goes good, and then I'll take some more. But yeah, man, we'll let you guys know when uh, we probably have a little sesh that we guys could sesh with us, and yeah, fucking. Thank you guys for all the love and she support. Did it for 420. Ooh. No podcast, you know. Ooh. Um, Man, that's not only next six year, months oh, away. Oh, yeah, six months away. That's not that bad. So not that bad. But, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for uh, watching us and supporting. We'll be having some more guests coming up very soon. Hope you guys uh, enjoy enjoy uh, watching us, you know, when it's just us. Sometimes we need a break from, you know, uh, all the, all the like, uh, social socializing with other people and shit, you know. And sometimes it's just a little more comfortable when it's just us and we get to like uh you know just talk among us and vent talk our shit and all that stuff you know things that we can't just yeah. talk with other people but thank you guys for all the support remember to follow us on ace of fates barbershop and tattoos if you are watching us on youtube and you don't follow us on ig that's where you can go check us out our link tree is on there you can find every barber every tattoo artist um Anybody from the AOF team, off the Clipper team, you can uh, make sure to follow us. You can find me on Polo Cuts SD. We got Manny Rocks with the Z, that Barber Cheapy. A big shout out to Omatic Made It. Yes, sir. Uh, the guy that makes everything possible. Much love to everybody. We'll see you guys next week, baby. Much Peace. love, y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs>